If you're in Texas and interested in becoming a deer farmer, you can contact me for deer farming franchise opportunities right here in Texas at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. Howdy everybody, my name is Keith Warren and today's Deer and Wildlife Stories comes to you from just east of Dallas, Texas. And we're at the Big Rack Ranch. As a deer hunter, I want to know all I can about America's favorite big game animal. That's why I became a deer farmer. Without deer farms, we lose our greatest resource for research and whitetail management. With them, we gain more knowledge than ever before. Join me as we discover the truth about whitetails and meet those who work every day to preserve this great species for future generations. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. When people wind up visiting a ranch, they form an opinion immediately on, on the deer. I mean, they look at them, oh, these are big, wide deer. These are non-typical deer. And the opinion that you're gonna get when you come here is these are beautiful, typical deer. And that's what happened the very first time I came here. I thought, man, these are pretty deer. And the second time I came here, man, these are pretty deer. And this time it's like, holy smokes, these are beautiful deer. And you gotta keep in mind, they don't get beautiful by accident. It's all planned. You know, it amazes me that every time I come out here, I mean, the deer are so pretty. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at this. How old are these guys now? Everybody in here is three. Okay, and everybody's got a pretty much clean, typical symmetrical look, except for that one with some flyers. What's the deal with him? Because that is not your normal style. Right. I mean, that's, he's got some character. What's it's, going on with him? That's a witch doctor's son, and he was a really pretty, you know, pretty clean two-year-old. And I put him in here. This is a, a lot of most of these bucks in here are Dos Anjos sons. Um, just to, I wanted to kind of show his consistency when I was grouping these bucks to grow out together this summer. Um, and he was, he was one that was a really fairly clean typical, and so I just let him kind of stay in this pen as well, but he, he definitely put on some inches this year. I, I love his look. He's got, he's got the big typical frame with character, you know, flyers and kickers um, that I love. How wide do you think he is? He's over 30, for sure. Well, as I, as I look at him, I'm going, okay, the, you, all these deer right here, did they grow out in this pen? Yes, sir. And so, been here the whole so, summer. Okay, so you put them in here last year then? Last one, uh, or, you know, January, February, when we were taking the bucks off the does, we go ahead and sort all of our bucks together with how they're gonna grow out for the that next summer. Okay, so, just, so strategically, why did you sort those bucks for this pen? This one, I, you know, I had, I think there are uh, five or six Dos Ancho sons in here. And I really, when, when, I, when I have people come out for ranch tours, um, I want them to see the, the consistency of Dos Ancho and what he produces. And you can see it on, on all his sons in here. There's a very consistent look. What amazes me here is that you wound up, you made this decision based upon what you thought was going to happen. And what you thought was going to happen, did it happen to your you know, prediction? Yes, sir, for sure. Minus the fact that he's, he's he kind of overshadows a lot of the other bucks in here. Okay, I want to point something out. He made the decision to put these bucks in here based upon his prediction of what they were going to look like at three years old. And so what we're going to do on today's show, we're going to talk to you about, about how John has been able to keep the consistent, beautiful, clean, typical look. Because I'll tell you something, every deer farmer in the country, every single one, when they found out I'm coming to your place, they said, he's got the prettiest deer in the industry. <laughs> no, you do, and it's not an accident. Thank you, that's great. <laughs> I looked at them all here and I'm thinking, okay, it's like going to a beauty contest of big bucks. <laughs> okay, so tell me about some of these other guys out here. 
most of them are, you know, like I said, Dos Ancho sons and, and over uh, various crosses. Um, Dos Ancho has seemed to work on any kind of dough line that I've uh, bred them to. And, and so there's there's a real clean six by six. They're all pretty clean, but there's a real real pretty six by six, and that's just Dos Ancho over Dagger Time. Mm -hmm. uh, a beautiful Texas typical um, back in the day. And then there's another one on that's a Dos Ancho on Witch Doctor. All right, these are some gorgeous deer. Thank you. And I know you got some more, so uh, you've got some more three-year-olds? Yes, sir. All right, let's go look at them. All right. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by New Dart, leading the industry in accuracy. Viewer feedback is presented by Protect the Harvest, Protect the Hunt. All right, this is off our Facebook page from a viewer by the name of Jack. He's from Minnesota. It says, I heard there's a live test that can be performed on deer that will detect CWD. Is this true? And if so, why isn't it being used? Jack, uh, that's a great question. It is true, there is a live test for chronic wasting disease and it's being used on thousands and thousands of animals in the state of Texas, very successfully. Why isn't it being used elsewhere? Because the other states just haven't accepted it yet, but we're pushing for that to happen. If you've got a question or a comment and you'd like to connect with me, go to our website and hit the Connect with Keith tab or get a hold of me on Facebook or Instagram. I think he'd be worth that. Holy cow. Ooh wee. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man. I think which one I want you to tell me about first. Oh wow. I want to hear about the one with the flyer. Look at that deer there. Right. That's, uh, that's uh, we're actually breeding him this year. We, uh, we call him Off Limit. He is, there's, I've got two no limits. Uh, no limit is another buck is in South Texas at J5 Ranch. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot like Dos Sancho is here, uh, he, is, he is kind of proving himself as a big time producer down in South Texas. And so I've been breeding with him for years. I, I love his look, I love his pedigree. And so two of the big, two of the bucks, the main one in here uh, that we're talking about is off limit. And he's a no limit son, mm -hmm. back on Kid Dynamite on Monarch's sister. Um, Show me. I want, so, to, I want to see this. Yes. No. Right. So this is this software is GMS, mm -hmm. um, and for me, it's 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 such a huge marketing tool, and I like seeing the animals in there in the in the in the pedigree, but I also want to see visually kind of production, and and if there's a doe that I've got, does she have a, a you know twin brother, womb brother, full brother, whatever it could be, um, what he looks like, and then on and on and. Off Limit um, is a great example of that, and, and um, you know if you go back to his grandmother, uh, she's the you know a sister of, of a famous buck in Texas called Monarch. Mm -hmm. um, she's still here at Big Rack Ranch, and we bred her to our buck, Kid Dynamite, that came from Gonzales Whitetail, um, and she created. And that through that we had a buck and a doe born. This was the buck, what he turned into at three years old. Wow. His, this is his twin sister, mm -hmm. womb sister, and so she's still here at Big Rack Ranch and bred her to No Limit, and that's what he looked like at five years old. Well, the cool thing is, as far as a sales tool goes, when you wind up, when you have customers come out here and take a look at these deer, you can pull this program up and you can show them pictures. This is this is what it's all bred to. This is the bloodline. That's right. That's exactly how I market. Anybody that's that's uh, bought any deer from me will will attest to this because this is exactly what I send people when they're asking for, you know, what do I have for sale as far as lists. Instead of sending someone just a list and telling them who it's out of, a sire or dam, I send them these. I just, I screenshot a pedigree and send it to them. And I, and I want them to, to get comfortable with the predictability of that offspring, mm -hmm. what it's going to be. And you mentioned J5 Ranch, and I want to I want to mention that's where High Heat is. Yes, sir. Okay, so talk about High Heat. I mean, this is a this is a, a deer that the whole industry is talking about now, and John is actually involved with High Heat. So explain it, that to him. Right, we're we're one of the partners. There's four partners on High Heat. High Heat um, is just a tremendous buck. It's a freeze frame son back on G Hammer on HR10, which is uh, kind of the shining star of J5 Ranch, his premier doe down there. Um, but we're, we're partners. Heath Yower with J5 Ranch is the main owner. He's the one that bred High Heat, and that's where High Heat lives. Um, we're also partners with Mossy Rock Whitetails and MVP Whitetails. There's four of us. If somebody wants to come to Big Rack Ranch, tell them where you are 
and tell them the best time to come to take a look at deer like this. Right, we're in Terrell, Texas, just about 45 minutes east of Dallas, Texas. And uh, the best time to come is from middle of June to the end of July is a wonderful time to come. And right now we're at the, uh, the end of August, and so these bucks are just about done growing. So if you want to come out here to Big Rack Ranch, give them a phone number. 214-890-0900. And when you come, be prepared because, like I said, this is like a beauty contest of big bucks. These are some beautiful, beautiful deer. Thank I'm you. telling you, you got it going on. Thank you. That system right there right. is like your, your little magic wand. You right. do it right there with that. I love it. Closed captioning for Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by G2 Ranch, where quality is our commitment. If you're a Texas landowner, and you're interested in improving the quality of the genetics on your ranch, you can contact me at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. Wow. Okay, so let me guess. Look at that guy right there. That big, framey look. Three-year-old? Yes, sir. Everything in here is three. Dos Sancho? Yes, sir. I'm going to guess. I mean, yeah. take a look at him. What a pretty buck. So Really pretty. Yeah. And then uh, what, what gets me is, you know, we just showed you a pen of, of, of deer earlier that had Dos Ancho bucks in it. And it's that predictability, that look, uh -huh. that you can just look at that deer and say, he's got to be a Dos Ancho. Right. He, he looks just like Dos Ancho did as a three-year-old. Um, and what's cool, he's, you know, his mother is, is a daughter of dream bucks, so a, a totally different line than the other bucks we saw uh, in, the, in the first pen we went to. So it's been, it's been fun to see him crossed on so many different, every line of does that we've put him on has produced a very consistent look. And Dos Ancho is still alive here. I mean, we, yes, we've, this is the third Deer and Wildlife Story show that we've done here. And what we'll wind up doing, we'll cut away and show you a shot of Dos Ancho when he was in his heyday. I mean, it was in his prime, he was 272 inches, but right now he's, he's 10 years old, he's still here. You still got semen on him, so if yes, somebody sir. wants to, some semen, you can get a hold of John for that. But I look at this other big buck in here. Mm -hmm. Who is he out of? That's a, he's a double down son. He's a th mm -hmm. three year old, and both of those bucks will be going to ranches to breed. They're, uh, both of them have been sold to be breeders. You know, as, as I look at your deer, and I mean, you really do have a reputation throughout the industry as having the prettiest, most consistent, pretty, typical bucks out there. You know, I, I look at it, I think, you know, there's a lot of guys that have inches. I mean, a lot of bigger deer with inches, okay? But they don't have as pretty a look. And so there's a lot of people that have ranches that, that they want the look. That's what they're looking for. Right. So if you're interested in, in the look on your deer, whether you're looking for something in breeder pen or on a ranch, give them a phone number, contact information. Sure. Office number is 214-890-0900. Website is bigrackranchwhitetails.com. All right. So uh, right now, what I'd like you to do, I know you've got a two-year-old. You've been... Uh, kind of hiding him huh, is right. the way I look at it. Right. I mean, this two-year-old, y'all aren't going to believe what he looks like. Let's go see him right Let's now. Let's do it. All right. Wow. Holy moly. And blue tags, I guess, represent nothing but two-year-olds. Huh? Yes, sir. Everything's two in here. Wow. Golly, look at this guy right here. He's uh -huh. pretty. Oh man, who's that guy with the flyer? Is that right. the one? It's a Dos Sancho son. Come on. Yep. Okay, really we've been excited. consistently talking about Dos Sancho, Dos Sancho, Dos Sancho, and, and take a look. Uh -huh. I mean, that's it, unbelievable. Beautiful buck. I, I love him. I'm real excited about him. I'm gonna let him cover some does this year, and then we'll see what he does next year. I think he's gonna be beautiful. Uh, but there's a there's a few in here. There's um, I've got there's that's a, uh, in front of him is that's a overnight express son. Wow. That I'm excited about. Uh, yep. There's another buck in here that's triple crown on Super Dandy's mom. Um, that I'm, I can't wait to see what he does. And there's a couple of Ace of Blades, one of our breeders, um, a couple of his sons in here that I think next year is going to be a real fun pin to watch. You know, the, the, the jump on these deer between two and three is incredible. Right. And so it's for that reason that if somebody was to come out here and take a look at these two year olds, especially this one right here, and, right. and you say, okay, would you sell him? address that, how would you price that and the reason why? I mean, it, I, it'd be hard to price them just knowing what these bucks do. They might jump 50, 60 inches between age two and age three. And for me, you know, selfishly speaking, I like to see the production of, if it's out of one of our bucks like Dos Sancho, I know what they're gonna do, you know, barring Ill, illness and other factors that I can't control. But, um, you know, he, he's going to make a huge jump. He's already big and pretty right now, and I think he's just going to, you know, be that much more next year. So, 
Well, I, I'm, you know, as we, you've got so many beautiful deer out here. It's really tough for us to show them and fit them all into one, one show. But I, I look, and these are two-year-olds now. Okay, well, it was two years ago. We were in that pen right there, mm -hmm. and you had a gorgeous two-year-old yep. that we just loved. Yellow something rather, 10? 4110. 4110, yep. okay. Now, whatever happened to him? Well, he got a name that year. I call him Sitting Pretty. Really? Uh, yes, sir. And he's a he's a kid dynamite son. And he's still here and still breeding. Well, let's go see sitting let's pretty. I mean, we we like I said, we got a lot of deer to show and not right. a lot of time. Let's go right. see sitting pretty. Okay. Let's <laughs>
it really is a beauty contest for big deer and great people. So y'all get a hold of John. My name is Keith Warren, and thanks for watching Deer and Wildlife Stories.